Hi friends, welcome back to Angular tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about Angular for loop. We all know about the for loop, but how to write for loop inside Angular we need to learn. Okay, so there is a special way and a process and there is a directives for for loops. So we need to know all those things in this video. Okay, so this is a simple text and it is coming from the default component that is the app dot component and this is the app dot component dot html file and this is the related type shift file so this text is coming basically from here so we need this uh, html file and typescript file okay so first we will create a property inside the typescript file that is the app dot component dot ts file and we will use this from app dot component dot html file okay so let's take suppose here i am creating a array that is name array okay so here i will just write a simply array and inside the array i will add some data that is the name suppose jack john and here write david and another suppose ricky so this four is enough okay so we will print this array from app dot component dot html file so if we use this name from inside the app dot component dot html suppose i'm creating a c tag for this and inside the c tag we are printing this name this is array and i want to print these things so we can see that is the jack john david Rick. so basically this is printing just like a string so i want to print these things from inside the loops so how we can print this okay so first we need to learn about the directives so suppose here i am changing the a string suppose it is i am writing name list and inside the ul i will print this so here i will take li for this and inside the li we will write the loop that is write star ng4 so this is the syntax to run any for loop and my property value is name okay so just write here let the item okay so in this way we need to write let the item of the property so my property name is name okay and inside the li will just print the item okay so right here in this way so this is item so if we just go to the browser we can see the jack john david and ricky so in this way we can use the for loop inside the angular application so this was a simple array so now if the array is the object array so how we can handle these things so here we will create another array suppose i am creating the users array okay so inside the users array i am creating some object like this so here i am creating name so name is same like jack and also we have age so for age is 30 so in this way we will create some more object so just copy and paste some and then we'll change so right here john and here write david and write ricky so i'm changing also the age suppose 35 20 and 25 so this is the object array so now how we can print this object array from the app dot component dot html okay so let's take another s3 tag so here we we'll write the user details okay so now if you go to the browser we can see that is the user details so here we will print all the object array value just below the user details so i'm taking a table to print it more beautiful way so just this is my table and inside the table suppose there is t head and inside the t head i'm taking a tier and inside the tier we'll take 
the th okay for th is for heading and here we will write name and in the same way we will take that is age okay and we will create a t body so right here t body and inside the t body we will print the value using the loop okay so just write here the tier and here we will print inside the td so now we need to run the loop inside this tier and we will print the value so right here ng4 and i will take that is let user of users so here users is the property name so in this way we need to write this way okay and here we will write user not users user dot name and in the same way we will print user dot age okay so now if we just go to the browser and refresh this we can see the name and age the jack 30 john 35 david 20 and ricky 25 so just add a simple style here so i am writing a very simple border that is border equal to one so that we can see the more clear okay so we can see the all records are printed from the object array with the help of for loop so this is the all about for loop and this is the most essential loop and you need to use these things in every situation okay so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and next day we will going to learn about how to pass data from parent component to child component so we already know about the component from our previous video now we'll know about some data passing things that is the we'll pass some data from parent to child component okay so that will going to be a very interesting video so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day